Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub, sir, and I am currently in the tub with Tilda Dawn waiting. Now, this is uh, going to be a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, I feel, so I'm going to give you a warning now. You may shed tears. I definitely might, but uh, I mean, I don't know how you are on an emotional scale, but I think this game is set to be very, very sad. Now, Tilda Dawn Waiting was released on the 12th of January 2018, and it's priced at £2.89. However, there is a reduction of 20% that brings it down to £2.31, and that sale runs until the 19th of January 2018. It's developed by a studio called Underdogs Gaming, and this is, I mean, I think this treads the line between sort of a game and visual novel, or interactive novel. I don't quite know how much gameplay there is there, but the subject matter was so unique, or at least unique to me, that I thought this would be worth a look at. So, just to uh, expand a bit more on what I said at the beginning, that Tilda Dawn Waiting may make you cry because it's a story all about abandonment and specifically the abandonment of pets. Now let's look at this poor sucker here. That is a dog. I, at first glance I thought it may have been a kangaroo. But I think basically the story here, there was, a, there was a quick note before the game started that it mentioned Hurricane Irma which you may remember from sort of September, August 2017 that caused absolute destruction on the Caribbean and, uh, and Florida as well in the US. And it said there that it, it led to the abandonment of many pets. And this game, I think, deals with, with, a, with a scenario of that and how uh, uh, your pets will remain loyal because they can't really comprehend what's gone on. So it could be really sad, but we'll start a new game and see what this game has to offer. I'm, I'm like, I'm excited to, to play something different, but at the same time, this could be heart-wrenching. Look at him wagging his tails, that means the dog's happy, right? I'm not, personally not, what is that, is that a corgi? See, I'm not, I'm terrible with dogs, I only have a cat, but I, I, I love dogs all the same, this guy. So he's been tied to this post, I don't know what this red flag could mean. Is that so the owner could spot it again? I, I don't know. Um, where, where am I? I don't know, young doggo. Oh, <laughs> okay, well this works out nice, uh, my name is Jack, or well, my nickname, as I mentioned before, my, my Christian name is Bathtub Sir, but we'll definitely go with Jack here, this is what uh, most people call me. Is that his owner's name, I imagine? Jack, what is this place? Where am I? I think where am I would be, it's sort of the same thing, aren't they? But we'll go with where am I? What's that? I thought it was a rock in the distance, but I think it might be like a beehive or something. Okay, do you get bees out here? I don't know. Save the bees, guys. Okay, so he's very disorientated. He doesn't remember being tired here, I don't think. Anybody? I think you're all alone, my poor dog. Why am I tied up? What is this place? Yeah, so the dog has no recollection of how he's ended up in this sort of desert. Uh, why am I tied up? That would be a good question to ask. If you woke up sort of bound, I would like definitely like to know why. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> Maybe he's doing his best Rose from Titanic impression. If only there was a whistle you could blow into. Get me out of here. Set me loose. Again, same thing. So we'll go with get me out of here. Is anyone around? I mean, I'm here, dude. Uh, are we going to give you a name? I think we should probably give this dog a name. Um, I mean, what do you look like? You look like a Sterling to me. We're going to call this dog Sterling. Is anyone around? I'm not sure, Sterling. I really hate to say it, but it seems pretty deserted, this desert. Dot, 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 dot. I can't see anything close. Can anybody hear me? I'm guessing he's, he's barking all this time, isn't it? He's probably panicking by now. I uh, can't see anything close. Can anybody hear me? I don't think you can see anything close to Sterling. I'm sorry, dude. H how, how well can you move? It's a weird area to be like tied up to. Like, given the context of Hurricane Irma before the game started, I don't know why he'd be tied to a post on a rock. 50 minutes later, the poor bastard. He doesn't look like he's got any water there. No shelter from the sun. Oh my god. I don't think he's going to last too long, is he, Paul Sterling? This isn't home. No, I don't think this would be anyone's home. Maybe some bugs or something could live here. Maybe in the tree. Probably This is probably someone's home over here. How did I get here? I've never been to this place. See, I want to know how you got here, young Sterling. Do you remember anything? Anything at all? Do you have a mobile phone? That could be a pretty good invention if your dog gets lost. Or do you have a tracker? Maybe you have a tracker inside you. In your neck. I guess. What do you guess? 
Oh wait! Okay, I think something's twigged. In Sterling's brain. Do you remember now? Is your owner nearby? We were on a road trip to Grand Canyon and we were on our way to State Park. This looks quite Grand Canyon-y, doesn't it? We reckon we're near Nevada? Or in Nevada? It's quite deserty. Uh, okay, let's do that. Wait, I, I think the Grand Canyon's in Nevada. <laughs> That's very stupid if it's not. Uh, are we there yet? Is this it? I mean, is this it? That's quite, that's quite a grand question. Is this all there is, Sterling? But where's Jack? Here, dude. Can you not hear us? Hear me? There he goes. Oh, the thought of just your, your pet panicking like that, it does make you feel pretty horrible. All that confusion. And I better not be a damn vulture. Just stay the fuck away from Sterling. Oh, look at this little guy. A bee. Or a wasp. Or a hornet, maybe. Of that sort of ilk. It's come from this this thing. Hey! Huh? What the hell? He speaks. I can communicate. No way, that's pretty cool. Here, down below. Who are you? He's a... Uh, he's Bug? We just call him Bug? What do you call a little bee? A prick? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, bee. At least you are a bee. Oh, these speech levels are kind of slow. I have to admit. I want to get the conversation flowing a little easier. A baby! Oh, god damn it. Are you sure you... That's almost like a dad joke. How can a baby make that sort of joke? Oh, okay. Not funny. No, not at all. Thank you. <laughs> Did dogs and bees get along? You don't look like you're from the wilderness. Oh, we're definitely not, baby. Did you see anything? I mean, you must have been in here when we, we got strung up. Looks like you need help. Yeah, can you use your stinger to cut through here? Oh, well, that would kill you, though. Oh, do I? Yeah, you definitely do. Wow, what's with the tone? Nothing. I think he's probably getting a little bit, uh, a little bit aggressive because you, you are just sort of stuck here, aren't you? You wouldn't be here then. What, what does that mean? I am lost. Look, I am not helpless. Thanks anyway. No, let's be straight up. Maybe baby can help us out. I am lost. Please help me. Oh God, I don't like this baby. That's pretty evident. I am waiting for someone. Yeah, we're waiting for Jack. He needs to come back and get us. How long has it been? It's been like an hour, right? 50 minutes? Maybe a bit long now. Who? Jack. He's our owner. Jack who? Oh, God damn it, baby. You're... Come on, make it easy for us. My owner, he'll be here any minute. I trust he will, please. <laughs> please, for the love of God. I don't want Sterling to die here. We were on our way to the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon? Yeah, oh my god, you're useless, baby. Isn't this the place? Oh no, probably because we're not there, yeah. It's gonna be like, no, this is just a stretch of desert. You wish, this is far from nowhere. <laughs> what do you mean? Poor Sterling, his world's come crashing down. Why do you think you're tied up? Because... I mean, I hope it wasn't malicious while uh, poor Sterling was left here. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, you know everything. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, say what you mean, baby, before we eat you. Because we could eat you, you know. That's it, come closer. Dinner's served. Alright, just piss off then. Look how free he is. He just gets to fly away. How long has it been? It feels like forever. What's taking him so long? It does feel like forever. Especially these slow-moving dialogue bubbles. Oh, I'm so hungry. I bet you are. I should have ate baby. Enticed him. Just spit out the stinger. It's not looking good for old Sterling, is it? I mean, night time maybe better? Jack. Barney. Come find me. Oh, his name's Barney. Okay, that's probably better than Sterling. St uh, Barney, come find me. So, why are you shouting that, Jack? You should know where you left your damn dog, dude. Oh, what the shit? Oh my god, what's going on here? Sorry if that's playing havoc with your eyes, it's playing havoc with mine. What is that, a wall? I just heard something being written down. 
can hear whimpering. Barney, come find me. What the shit is going on? Did Barney get access to some, some desert shrooms? I mean, that's what it is. Oh, I don't like this. This is so disorientating. I I'm guessing we're the dog right now because you can hear like sort of the running sounds. So we need to find Jack. He's saying, Barney, come find me. Okay, this is a fucking labyrinth. And that's a dead end, isn't it? I don't know where to go. Can you jump in the wall? Okay. Oh my god, it's taking so long for my eyes to adjust. <laughs> I feel like I'm drunk. In like the worst possible way. Right, okay. Ooh. Oh! Get me out of here, please. I don't like this bit at all. Go! Have we found you, our owner, Jack? Alright. I don't think so. That's it. Go on. There we go. Right. I think it's going to be... Oh! Oh, he eats like a people meal. <laughs> Has he got chips? Is that a... I think that's a sausage. I don't think this owner would have been cruel enough to put one of Barney's own turds on the plate, though, would he? That's definitely a sausage and not a dog shit. Um, it's either chips or a banana. And he's got some, some bread with some, with some ketchup. I've never seen a dog eat such a person meal. Three hours later. God damn it. He's, gonna, he's not going to be in great shape now, is he, old Barney? Fuck me. Three hours just sitting there. My god, I hate waiting for the doctors. I don't know how Barney's doing it. Seven hours? This is getting much worse. Fucking hell. This, this is like a, a really bad overlay at an airport. I'm surprised he's not like on the floor now, you know? He's still standing on all fours. Oh god, you see the shadow of this big bastard? Yeah, that is, a, that is a fabulous vulture. Well, I think someone stuck a, a HP pencil inside this vulture's neck. Limp, tired, and strayed. Oh, I wonder, how does it end? <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> uh, it won't end. Get away. Fucking carnivorous bastard. And how have we managed to live this so far? Oh, hang on. I think there may be some sort of uh, grammar errors here. How have we managed to live this so far? I don't know. Well, yeah, what do you mean? Maybe that will shed some light on it. Come on, speak. Just striking a conversation with my prey. Uh, Jack must be nearby, coming for me. Or should we say Jack is on his way? That maybe that will scare him off. Oh fuck me! The thought of looking at your future predator—it must be terrifying. I assume that's your owner, best friend. He doesn't treat me like a pet. Well, no, evidently not. He gives you full-on meals. Don't know how that does for your cholesterol, though, Barney. You've got to take care of your pets. Is that why you're all here, tied up, and nothing to eat? You see, the saddest thing about betrayal is it never comes from your enemies. Oh god, is he trying to play mind games with us now? He wouldn't betray us. He's our beautiful owner. I trust Jack. He's coming. You're a very slivery bastard, I've got to admit that. And your wings look like streaky bacon. Indeed. He wouldn't have left whatever you just said there. <laughs> so, <laughs> crap. These principles of ours. I did miss what you said. Uh, what principles? The thing is, we have to wait till our food is dead. Oh, is that like the vulture code? I'm never going to be on your plate. I guess you'd have to wait forever. Yeah, that should show him. Bastard. Why don't we wait and see? Okay, you ain't got nothing to say to that of you, Barney. I suppose he's, uh, he's, got the, he's in the stronger position here. I mean, he's not tied up. While we are waiting, let's try and cut short your time to death. Now, what are you going to do? You better not peck me, you bastard. Oh! Oh, you've... Oh, that is fucking evil. No way. Oh, get off him. Get off the damn dog. Poor Barney, he's getting stung. 14 hours later. Shit. It's got to be night time now. Honestly, some long-ass days. God, poor bastard. Look, now he's laying down. Please, just someone come get him. I don't want to be stuck there. You could maybe get water out of that cactus. I wish you were here with me. Oh, I wish we were there too, Barney. I'm so afraid. I bet you are. How many times did they sting you? Can't you tell baby to back off? Well, I know you will come back. 
I bloody hope so. I mean, I just had a thought there was a car at the beginning that we saw drive off. That can't have been Jack, could it? Did we really abandon him? No. I would like you to know I appreciate. What do you appreciate? Appreciate all the things you've done for me. Oh, God. I hope it's not. Maybe. Because. I'm still trying to work out how it pieces together with the Hurricane Irma thing at the start. And maybe I should have done a good job to show that on camera, but maybe I haven't. Maybe I could put it in here. Um, but it basically... Maybe I'm thinking now their home got destroyed and they can't afford to keep the dog? And they've abandoned him? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I hope that's not the case. That would suck. Surely there's better ways. Even this... You can't appreciate this, Barney. This is, this is mean if you've just been left. It's ungodly. It's not anything anyone should ever do. 23 hours later, he's had no water, he's had no food, he's been stung. Oh, fuck. Then we got this again. Alright, let's try and move this along, because this, <laughs> this is a bit shit, this bit, I would admit. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. I think it was in the same place as last time, but I can't remember where that is now. There it is. Fuck. Okay, get me out of here. A weird segment that doesn't make much sense if you ask me. Unless it's the dog dreaming. Unless it's Barney dreaming. But you know how sort of uh, nonsensical dreams can be. So he's just stuck. He's trying to find him. It's like maybe if you try and like run sometimes. Or my one is uh, if uh, sometimes I dream that I'm in a football match and I have to do a throw in, but I can never throw the ball. Sometimes I hear like if you try and punch someone in a dream, it's like punching through water or something. Maybe that's what the dog's having there. Oh, he's playing fetch with Jack, and I don't think Jack's wearing any shoes outside. Like, What's wrong with you, man? Get grass stains all over your feet. Oh, Barney was about to catch that ball, though. He looks so magnificent. 25 hours later. I don't know how long sort of dogs can survive without water, especially in this blistering heat. Oh, man, he's covered in cuts. Oh, my meal here looks sad. I love Happy Meals, you see. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> That's dark. Why would he do this to me? Oh, I don't know, Barney. Because he doesn't want you anymore. Ugh, this is unlike him. Yeah, he always treated us with care and affection, it seems. Look, kid. Welcome the fact. We have done so much for each other. I bet, I bet Barney's done, yeah, I bet Barney's done loads for Jack. You didn't lose a friend, you just realised you never had one. We always had each other's back. I bet we made Jack feel happy when he was sad. Go on, Mr. Pup. I will just wait for my tempting meal. Wait, don't tell me he's a puppy. I know he will come for all we have. Okay, right, what you got to say to that, Vulture? You see, after a while, waiting gets boring. Now, what are you going to do now, you bastard? I'm waiting for you. You waiting for Jack. Either of us win, and soon this ends. I see hope. Hope on the horizon. It's good to have hope, young dog. For me. <laughs> the writing is, isn't the best, I will admit. I think it, it does the job kind enough of conveying of emotion, but um, it's a really bad writing in some of these text bubbles. 37 hours later. Fuck me. Almost two days out here. Rain! Okay. It's still not great. I don't know if, how much it will prolong our life, but it might do some good. The only bad thing is now it's just an abandoned dog out in the rain. Poor sod. I don't get why he would be left in this spot. I don't know if something's going over my head. Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, you haven't done anything wrong, Barney. I bet you haven't, dude. I mean, anything you did do could justify this one, I think. It was a similar thunder, and I was scared. What are you on about? I hid into your closet and started chewing things. Scared. <laughs> I wouldn't be annoyed. I'm sorry that I ruined your new shoe, Jack. That's okay. You don't wear shoes anyway, you dirty bastard. Maybe it was a plaything for you, Barney. Is that why I'm here? Oh, he's probably thinking back to all the things he might have done wrong. And think this is his punishment, poor sod. Abandoned. 
please. I mean, I think this is the sort of game that's going to have to have the ending of uh, poor Barney dying, but I'd really love for him to get rescued. I would love for that a hell of a lot. Oh, wow, what's going on here? That's some weird Alice in Wonderland trippy stuff. Oh! Oh, okay, it's the closet. The eating the shoes. What's with the weird tiles? You're going to put a closet on this sort of tiling, would you? It's like kitchen tiling. Okay, what we're we gonna see? Come on, open up. Hello. Oh, you look scared in there. Barney. Barney, you magnificent bastard. Are you shivering? It's okay. Oh, that dog needs a hug. That dog really needs a hug. I'm terrified that the vulture is going to come back. 45 hours later. Can't imagine the torment he would be going through. I think my mind would break before anything else. I wish I could see you once before I go. Maybe, oh god. I think it's starting to build up to the end here for poor Barney. Oh, for fuck's sake, not this again. Right. Let's get there. I do hate these bits. <laughs> right, I just want to get this out of the way so we can get back to the story. Please, please. Yes, get out of here. It's a bit weird that they just put it in the same spot every time. It really negates the sense of having that, like, in any way. <laughs> There's no sort of fault. The only time you've got to sort of think is the first time. I suppose we did try and find out if it was in the same place the second time. Don't matter. Oh, good, he could read as well. This was a wonder dog. He could do everything. Yes, yeah, so it seems like he had a really good relationship with his owner. So I'd love to know why this has happened to the poor bastard. Maybe we'll see. 69 hours later, fuck me. Like two and a half days. He's still alive. Bloody hell. It's been a journey for you. I don't feel my limbs. Oh no. You really is close to death's door. But I know he will come. What makes you trust him to infinity, if I ask? The bond and the memories. You're no more needed, kid. We are needed. <laughs> well, maybe we're not, but still, I don't want to think about that. Soon you'll die, tied up, but I will admit. You think I can't free myself? Oh, well, what's going on? I think the speech is starting to mess up here. Yeah, fucking hell, come on. What are you waiting for? Uh, I'll die waiting? Maybe? Maybe we should have done our hold on. Yeah, I think there's some bugs here. I've given my life to Jack. I can do anything for Jack. Thank you. I do I do really appreciate your loyalty, uh, Barney. What does that even mean? It's because no one loves you, Vulture Sack. Even if you free me, I would be waiting here. Yeah, couldn't you just uh, pick through the ribbon? Because when he comes and not see me... <laughs> he would be devastated thinking... What? Come on, get on with it, Barney. Thinking what? Then I didn't trust him. Yeah, this is kind of bad, isn't it? Make a choice, kid. It's ruining the moment a little bit. With this poor, poor dialogue. Oh, have I got a choice here? Oh, fuck me. Free me! Yeah, fuck that. We'll live and be free. We don't have to die. Three years later... Jesus. Okay, please do not be at the damn post. What? Oh, he looks very thin as well. He's got scars from the bee. How is he still here? Three years. He must have been surviving somehow. Seems to be some sort of structures around him now. We're still alive though. Barney, that's a good thing, right? 
seems very sad. Maybe, I would have thought maybe he would have moved on. Kind of, obviously, he'd still hold heart hate for that, but three years later, he may have uh, moved on a tad. I don't know. I mean, that may be a bit sort of... Um, Bit sort of ignorant of me. No pets were harmed in the making of this game, only feelings. Maybe the English language in one or two cases. I think that could be the end. Well, I'm happy he's alive. I mean, he will never get that sort of dinner again, I don't think. But you're alive, Barney. Yeah, I suppose his life is actually trash now, isn't it, compared. Just hunting around the desert looking for scraps. Poor sod. Look at that, I bet he can't jump like that anymore. I'm just happy the vulture didn't eat us as well. I hope you ate the vulture, Barney. God, I bet you never got to finish that book either. Shit. Oh! <laughs> he's wearing a birthday hat. It's funny because he's a dog. <laughs> Oh, you don't even need eyes, you can still tell the expression he's doing. Oh shit, it did end rather somberly. You have your life, Barney. Is that worth nothing? Forget Jack, he's not worth your love anymore. Not just a game, but an experience to be lived. We had a bit bigger storyline to the game, but we couldn't stretch the game time as it was too dark to take such a bitter sounding but a factual story ourselves for long. Thank you for experiencing the story. Okay, well, uh, you can give them a pass. I'm guessing English obviously isn't their, their sort of native tongue. Um, I think they're just saying they wanted to add more and maybe make it a bit darker, perhaps with the dog dying. Play again for alternate ending. So that's it. We ran through it. I think it ends like this. Um, okay, so... Wow. Uh, how do I feel about that game? I do feel a little bit disappointed, though, I would admit. I mean, it, the, the intentions were true, and I, and I applaud them making a the game about the subject matter. I think it could have been done to a bit of a better standard. I uh, did not like the, the maze labyrinth sequences. They seemed really out of place and, and like not worth anything. It didn't add anything to me. I mean, obviously you got the reward of seeing the photo of happier times between Barney and Jack. But I mean... Oh God, to have just have... To have like the the destination in the same place each time, to have them weird trippy sort of walls everywhere, I, I don't know. I think I can think I don't think it fit at all. But still, at the same time, this game was not like anything I played before in terms of subject matter. It's very sad. It's very very sad because this stuff does happen like all the time, like like every second every day. I, I imagine there's poor pets being abandoned and mistreated like that. And it is horrible when they are so loyal and they don't know any different and all they want to do is love their owners and be loved and uh, yeah I mean I mean fair play to uh, two underdogs for making the game about that um, I can't really recommend you buy this because I think you can get all you want out of it from seeing this video if you've watched the whole thing thank you if you didn't want to play for it yourself please go ahead and be my guest it's, it's not dear it's fairly cheap and it has alternate endings which hopefully may be a bit happier although if Jack came back after all that I think I mean I'd bite his bloody arm off but I'm going to leave it there. Um, this was Till the Dawn Waiting. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we do In the Tubs with every Monday. We also do Let's Plays on the channel, and we live stream twice a week. So there's plenty here for you. Please go ahead and subscribe. If you've got any questions on the race, how did you feel about this game? Did it tug at your heartstrings? Please go hug your pets right now, wherever they are. Even if it's a cat who doesn't want to be disturbed, just go hug them. They'll appreciate it. And leave your comments below, and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. All right? See you.